Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Let's Play Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo 3DS. Before we get started, do me a huge favor and click that like button. It doesn't take you more than two seconds and it goes a really long way with helping show your support towards the series. Anyways, one thing I want to ask you guys. Could somebody please tell me what song this is from? I know it's from Super Smash Bros. Melee, but I don't know what song it belongs to. So I'm going to let you guys listen to it and hopefully somebody can tell me exactly what it belongs to. God, it's so beautiful! Uh, I noticed that after I unlocked every single one of the characters in this game, uh, the title screen menu would always change, and I've been trying to play this music for every single episode when I start it up, just because it sounds much better than the new one. Nothing will ever beat this, so I, I want to know exactly what it's from and where it belongs to, uh, in what game exactly. It could be, I'm pretty sure it's Melee, but I could be wrong as well. So if you guys know, Please let me know. I'd really, really appreciate the help on that. Anyways, uh, why did we start off here at the main title menu? It wasn't to ask you guys about the uh, the title selections, music, no. It's actually because I am going to be showing off Smash Run. I actually had the privilege of playing this game multiplayer with my good friend Munching Orange last night. There's a video up on his channel that should be up. Uh, I don't know if it, it'll be up by the time this video is uploaded, but it'll be up and whenever it is I'll put a link to that in the description of this video so you can go check it out But I had a lot of fun playing smash run and I thought I'd go ahead and play it on uh, for you guys So you guys could see it as well because it's it's really awesome, and I think uh, you guys will enjoy it So I'm actually gonna be using link last time Oh, and the cool thing is you can customize like whatever movesets you want for link and like uh, the buttons to go for the movesets as well And you can have it right there, but since I don't have any customizations yet Yet, I'm actually going to uh, just play with the default and that that explains the whole purpose of the amiibos because with amiibos You can customize like Mario's amiibo and put all of your own customizations on that amiibo And then you can go to your friend's house and take your amiibos with you and then put them on his Wii U to play smash with him If that makes any sense so that way you have your players with uh, their customizations as opposed to playing You know with the default or with somebody else's players and customizations. I think it's a really cool idea It makes smash more much more competitive and uh, it gives it a better feel to it and it gives it kind of a more unique sense to it everybody having their own unique game and whatnot so I'm gonna be playing with Link today um, with Mo I actually ended up using Ike you guys will see that in the video uh, and I'm just gonna be playing against this computers because you know obviously I don't have anybody to play this game with but here's an interesting proposition if this video can reach 2,000 likes I will play this game co-op with munching orange smash run I will bring you guys a smash run version with Mo um, and it looks like we have the X and Y Wi-Fi battle theme song, or just the battling theme song, but this really reminds me of Pokemon X and Y uh, Wi-Fi battles because there's no more- I, I have not listened to this song uh, more than I've listened to it while playing Wi-Fi battles, so every time I listen to it, it reminds me of just sitting there playing a Wi-Fi battle for like 20-30 minutes. Um, but, uh, pretty much the whole objective of this is to go through rooms in little palaces, well, not really palaces, but just rooms and halls of just different enemies from the Nintendo franchise, and, uh, I guess, oh, I almost died there, so we're gonna move that, oh, we can't, uh, and as you can see, there's gonna be a lot of different kind of enemies from different Nintendo games, um, and hold on, let me show you the map really quickly. So as you can see, you can find the computers on the map. When I played this with Mo, we tried grouping up together, like meeting up with each other, but we couldn't find each other whatsoever. So I'm assuming that... How did I miss that? Are you kidding me? So I'm assuming that you can't actually uh, find your opponents on the map or whatever, but I'm pretty sure the whole objective of, Sm of Smash Run is to try to get through as many rooms as possible, kill as many enemies as possible, and accumulate as much stat points as possible. As you can see on the touch screen, I have a bunch of uh, different things. I'm not really sure what they all stand for because, you know, obviously this game is in Japanese and I do not speak the Japanese language, so I can't tell you exactly what all this stuff means, but from, uh, from what I can tell, I'm pretty sure they will help you at the end because at the end of this what will happen is you'll actually have to battle against the computers so you have to try to collect as many of these things as possible I probably should have played with a faster character it would have been more ideal to play with a faster character as opposed to playing with Link. Link is a pretty good character but he's not fast so I'm not able to like clear out these halls as quickly as I want to and it looks like there's gonna be a bullet bill there 
Um, so what I'm actually gonna end up doing is I'm gonna collect those, and then get these for... Oh, 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 there we go, there we go. We made it down here safe and sound, and it looks like there's gonna be a bunch of enemies spawning right here, but that's okay. Oh, jeez. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. Oh, Jesus, man. That bullet bill's trying to kill me. Alright. I can't let these guys kill me. They can't get the best of Link. Oh, man. Okay, 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 okay. But yeah, that's pretty much what Smash 1 is. It's just pretty much, like I said, you just gotta go through different halls and whatnot and clear out as many enemies as possible and accumulate as many stat points as possible. And I could have totally went this way, but I've been wasting my time in this area looking for something, trying to kill enemies. Because honestly, I thought I was gonna fall. Oh my god, it's that thing from Zelda. Look at that. Okay. Let me go ahead and kill these things because they'll probably give me lots and lots of points. Oh man. I don't know what happens when the timer goes out. Nothing really happens, that's what I think. I think it just like... Oh dang, look at my stats. What happened to my stats? Oh, it's because I got launched in the air, so I have like a nice speed buff or whatever right now. So that's good. And then they slow down. So I guess, look at... I'll show you guys. Whenever I do choose to run, I think, I think I'm back in this area again. Well, I'm pretty sure I've been here before. Looks like I'm getting close to one of my computers. Yeah, I've, I've totally been in this area. So I'm just back here again. This is where I died, I believe, the first time. Let me grab more of these. And it looks like there's going to be a bunch of stuff up here as well. Ah, oh, Jesus, man. Come on. These enemies can be a little bit tough. Because they're enemies, they're not actually battling against, like, computers or, or actual players, so... Having to kill the enemies is just, it's, it's a lot different than having to play against computers. And like, sometimes they don't die. They don't die in like two hits. They, they take a lot more time to die, so... That sucks. For me, I guess. Oh, and it looks like I can't get up there like that, so I have to take this way, route. If that stupid thing can leave me alone. Alright, kill that Koopa. Even though that Koopa didn't do anything to me. Come on, game! So, I'm pretty sure I just gotta avoid those cannons, but it doesn't really matter because the time's almost out, so... The more I run, the more speed I gain. It's crazy. And there you go, I died again, meaning my, uh... Most of my stats deplete. The more you die, the more your stats will deplete, so... You have to try to do this without actually dying. Um... And just a disclaimer, guys, this is, in fact, my very first time playing it solo, so... I just wanted to kind of give a first impression, I guess, when I played this. I will be doing a lot more of these in the future. That way you guys could see my improved gameplay and whatnot. But uh, what happens at the end, it will show you all of the stats, like your stats and then the computer stats. Obviously, mine are terrible compared to the computer stats. And at the end, you're going to have to brawl it out. And what will happen when you do brawl out, um, I think these stats will kind of help you in your own favor. So, uh, hopefully, I am ready to kill them. So it looks like I'm battling Wii Fit Trainer, King DDD, and Pit. Those are my three opponents for the day. Look at that fierce Dighty skin, man. That looks amazing. And we're going to be battling here in the Land of Zelda, the Spirit Tracks. Oh, seriously? Somebody died that quickly? Okay, it's actually... It's not stocked or anything. Um, look, at, look at how high my percentage is going up as well. I think that's because of the stats that I didn't accumulate. So, I gotta make sure that I still uh, stay alive, because I, I want to win this, to be honest with you guys. I really want to win this. Looks like somebody else died. King DDD died. Ah, oh, and there you go. I died. Couldn't recover properly. Alright. What are they doing over there? Ah, oh, man. I need to, I'm going to try to get the Wii Fit Trainer. She looks like she's about to die. So, I could totally get her. Come on, Wii Fit Trainer. Die! Boom! Somebody died. Yes, I got somebody at least. Come on, DDD, die! Aw, oh, come on. I, I, can, I can kill him! No! He almost died! He almost died! I don't even know what levels these computers are supposed to be on, but... It looks like uh, Pit won this one because I'm pretty sure he killed somebody and he didn't actually die, so... He came out victorious. Oh, he killed two people, so did I. But I died once, but Pitt also died twice. I don't get it. How does that work? 
I'm not sure how that works. How Pitt would have won if he died twice and he killed two people, but I died once and I killed two people. But there you guys have it. That's pretty much what Smash Run is. Um, right now, I want you guys to leave a vote on who you'd like me to see play Smash Run again with. You guys can pick pretty much any one of these characters and I will play the next Smash Run with them. I have a lot of fun with these. I think it's a pretty cool concept and... Um, I would totally want to do it again just to kind of see how well I improve because now I know exactly how to play it. So it was kind of just like my first impression of this game or of this like game mode. So if you want to see more, remember to leave a like. If this video reaches 2,000 likes, I'll do one with Munching Orange and just guaranteed you guys will get another one very soon. So remember, leave your character uh, vote on who you'd like me to see play as next. Don't vote for Toon Link because I already played as Link. Toon Link's very similar to Link, so it's kind of pointless to play with Toon Link. Just if, if I already played with Link, just pick somebody that, you know, normally we wouldn't see much of, like, like, let's say these guys, the meat trainers, look at that. I customized all my meat trainers right here. Look at that. I even gave them suits, except for that guy. That guy has the default suit, so that sucks, but just pick somebody that isn't normally picked, I guess, and I'll totally uh, play with them. So, thank you guys all once again for watching. Make sure you stay tuned for later today because we have a lot of classic episodes coming out tonight. And I will see you guys then. Goodbye.